Alexi Obi, consecutive games for Everton, wing back position. We didn't see that coming. <laughs> I personally didn't see it coming. I mean, all positions, I would have. I mean, that 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 would have that would have literally been the last position on anybody's mind. Yeah, I mean, it will be wing back. I'm not trying to say it's kind of it's lazy. <laughs> I'm not saying that, but mm, I'm just saying I that am requires... Saying, I am saying the Wobi is lazy. <laughs> <laughs> I, am, I am saying the Wobi is no. lazy. At least for a, st- for a standard... But play, uh, playing the wing back, is, I don't think it's for lazy players. That's you need energy down that flank, you know, going forward, coming backward. Exactly, that's what I'm trying to say. I mean, that requires a lot of energy and he's, he's been doing it very well. It's not even been average. Let's even... Has, been, he played, has he played the full match? Like, yeah, yeah, I know yeah. this last match was his third match in that position yeah and it's been, it's been very, very good very good. so it will be a wing back for the super yeah. business see an option for you <laughs> okay i feel i mean okay first things first it has to be the formation if the code decides to go with the formation right mm-hmm. so if he decides to go with the formation would the will be accept you, you know you know this thing is not even supposed to be a question mm-hmm. yeah i mean you do it for your club you're yeah, supposed you to do it for your country you should, you should naturally sure that's what you, that's what your coach wants mm-hmm. but I, I for me i, I think it's, it's something that has to do with you know we've seen players come out to say they will give it's, the team comes first yes whatever position they want to play on the pitch you know they'll, they'll do it for the team and the footballer went to see that day. he said it that day. he said it so he, it. so it will be my look at it he's not getting that playing time in his favorites I, I don't know i'm still just a bit confused on what it will be his best position is so but that's is that's, that's, that's another that. debate we that's another that. debate what is his best position mm-hmm. because some will tell you attacking with feet some will tell you winger i personally will tell you an inside forward I personally would. So, and Everton has uh, stopped in that area. Up. They have a lot of players in that area. Yes, but looking in. at their fullbacks, they, they have injuries to their key, the, the first choice fullback. So, and it will be looking at this as an opportunity to get playing to time. Get playing time. So, I think that that's another reason, another motivation for him to, you know, perform mm. very well the way yeah. he's done so far. First and first, what does inside forward mean? Please? Okay, I'm inside I'm forward. Just, <laughs> just, like, just come up with new, <laughs> new positions. No, 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 no it's not day. like we have inside. Okay. You know, wingers are typ- yeah, typically those that hug the touchline. Yeah. That stay on the touchline. So, yeah. yeah. Inside forwards are those that start there, then come inside to shoot. Like Ruben. Uh, typically, you say he's a winger, but the way he plays, he plays like an inside uh, forward. Oh, thank you for Why? Um, So you understand that. that. I really mm-hmm. needed that, honestly, uh, <laughs> because uh, I, I've got confused for a while. Uh, uh, so yeah, it will be. I mean, um, we're happy for him. I'm very, very happy for him because I felt last season and even beginning of this season, I felt, <coughs> man, if this guy doesn't cut him with Ancelotti, they would, they would, they would take him off. I'm being good to. So, so, so I'm really happy for him. We are all happy for him, actually. We are all happy for him. Yeah, so he's he's getting the playing time. Yeah, he's getting on the future play. Uh, getting the playing time is not. Will it improve his? Will it improve Iwobi as a player? I think I think it does. You know, playing in a different position, one way or the other, I think it should improve a player. Coming back to the national team now, if he plays there for probably fifteen games, by the ne- by the time the next qualifiers, nations cup qualifiers, comes in March, like you said, would Rod going to use him there? Tweak is. Trick his formation to first. accommodate him. Yeah. And personally, for me, I would play an online now in that role before I would put it will be there. Also, oh, yes, even if Rogue decides to go with three at the back, I would play online now. Oh, okay. I mean, if Gennaro can play Kevin up, boom, uh, full back, full back, you, 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 you can never know. Yeah, you, you can't tell what, what you can do with it will be honest. For me, for me, I'm just right. indifferent about it. Uh, I'm happy that he's getting the playing time, but like his personal development and outside this Everton current. Set up. Yeah. Well, I'm just I'm glad he's getting the playing time. That's, that's his now, talking time. about playing time, another player who's who's the rave of the moment now it's, it's Paul Onoachu. Mm. Mm. I, I mean, love that crowd. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, scoring goals for fun. He's, the guy is, is scoring goals for fun. I mean, 14 mm. goals um, for Genk this season. I mean, you know, you know something about Paul. You always divide opinion. I don't know why. There are players like kind of forward. There are players like that. It's just that person that I don't know what he has to do really mm. to 
make us all agree in Nigeria. Be like, yeah, not even in. Like, I think it's kind of all. We have for us like Giroud always divide opinion. Yes, that was like Cola when it was played always mm, divide opinion. opinion. Peter Crouch. So it's just that kind of forward. Mm. But but I mean, it goals. I mean, it speaks for itself. Exactly. So so, yeah. so for you, has he done enough to merit a maybe a constant call up over over Ozime? Ozime. I mean, she just no, played the squad. Uh, no, not over Getting Ozime. Getting I mean, the last squad, it was in the reserve. Not over It was not in the main list, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. So, but do you think he has done enough, I mean, with his records? Of course. Season, to get it, you know... Of course, it's just just logical that... You call him, he's, he's yeah. an informed he's done, player. He's done a lot. Yeah, he's done so, enough. So Probably so not as first choice, but maybe back up. Yeah. Yeah. Even, if, even if he makes the first choice... We wouldn't even so, argue. Like, if you try to, you try to shouldn't that argue. That's, that's, what, that's argue. what I'm saying. That's why you always divide opinion about someone like that. Right, but we exactly. shouldn't argue. I mean, he's got the goals to prove. But I mean, the, the, the main talk is if the manager has played to his strength. That is that is another that's that's another stuff about dividing opinions. Mm-hmm. Like obviously the way gang um, um, gang 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 plays is quite different. Would be quite different from the way Ross sets up his team. So playing to his strengths, I understand that there are times when you need to accommodate your style to a particular player, and there are times when you have, as a coach, you have to set up your team and allow the player fits inside your team. Yeah. So if he doesn't fit inside, I feel he's just like a second option. Like probably when the men starts up, you're not getting the goal. Your plan B, your plan B is to cross the ball and look for someone to get the goal. Or if you look, if you take um, players. Of Osime characteristics, like two of them, and we are not getting the goal. Osime is not getting the goal. You want to bring another Osime type of player into the free. No, you have to bring a different, different kind of a player. different type of player inside. And I think that's one of the reasons why Rowe has not really delivered of recent because he keeps playing similar players in that position. And we know that our our fullbacks in Sanusi, Collins, and the likes, they can actually whip the, the yeah, ball in. Yeah, exactly. So we need that physicality. It might not be good on the ground, on on the, on the on the floor, but like in the air, try something new. Try something new. I personally think there's nothing like there should not there should no. I personally think there shouldn't be anything like a coach playing to his player strength. I don't know. It just feels it just feels well, you know. When you say a coach, ah, okay, let's play to his strength. Why should you play to play his to strength? Player strength? Good players should play actually in every position. Mm-hmm. Once you are good, you are good. I mean, it's not. It's not rocket science. So, uh, Paul, Paul, I'm happy for you, Paul. <laughs> I'm really, really happy. But I just feel um, as long as Osimhen is there, no other. If Osimhen is not playing, you can call me, Sha, and do what you want to do. Paul. I mean, we, we won't stop talking about Paul on actually. If he keeps on, scoring, if, he keeps on I mean, if he keeps on scoring, he's, he's in the history books for for the club. I, I think they won their seven straight league wins. That's that's a club record. Wow. Mm-hmm. They've never done it before. So seven wins. And he's been instrumental. Scott, and he's been instrumental. Quite instrumental. So 14 goals in the first 15 round of fixtures in the Belgian Pro League. So, he, he, I mean, that's that's massive. And there's a picture on the Niger Footballers page where, you know, he's sitting on the throne as far as with the crown on his head as, you know, as the king of goals. <laughs> right? like the king of goals. Exactly. Like so, in Europe, he's the head of Lewandowski. I heard of. Uh, I mean, that's enough. I think for the Lewandowski time being. And Kane. At least for the time being. For the time I mean, being. Gonna be ahead of <laughs> so, <laughs> Onwachu, keep scoring the goals. Yeah. Keep scoring keep the goals scoring. for your club side and for the Super Eagles, not just for Genk. So, replicate that from for the Super Eagles. So, um, from Onwachu, guys, let's let's talk uh, a bit of Champions League. Now, Igalo. <sighs> Yeah, he made his debut for Manchester United in the Champions League in the last round of the future. But how be it, it was a very, very late game. It was a 98 minute man. I don't know if he touched the ball or something. I'm just saying. But now there, there, there were reports that Cavani and Mattia won't be travelling with the squad for their game against Leipzig this week. So do you think it's, it's a chance for Igalo to have a proper debut for Manchester United? I mean, it's an important game. You know, they are tied on nine points with Leipzig and PSG. So, Igalo and Manchester United. Just should, I, should I be honest? Uh, I think I personally think Igalo has achieved. I personally think Igalo has achieved what he came to my United. Mm-hmm. See everything football. that's happening now is bonus. It's stopping. That's why I feel <laughs> Igalo does not see. If you like benching, I personally score think, a Champions League goal. I personally think, uh, uh, think they will start Greenwood. I got his name. Start him. And it's not a bad thing. I mean. 
uh, Igalo always knew the position was coming into. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I mean, you were still there, they still went to get Cavani. That was part of why That's a message it's already. It's a message. So it's a message already. So I think he realizes that already. Right? He's a smart guy now. He knows. I mean, playing for Man United alone is fantastic. I mean, that's that's a child dream that no every player gets to achieve for the retirement. I mean, that's mm-hmm. his childhood club. I, f- I, I feel you should not have extended the contract. Oh, but really? Yes, you should not have. I mean, it, it, can, it will be hard for him to reject I mean, when the contract was, was for an was extension true. was brought to him. So, do, do you think it will be an, sort of an easy decision? I don't know. Like, we're, all of, we're not present there. I feel he should have known that Cavani was coming. I don't know. I don't know. He should have known Cavani was coming. So, if he, were, if he had that knowledge that Cavani was coming, and I think his club in China actually gave him a higher pitch check. They offered him a higher pitch check. Mm-hmm. Just leave when the ovation. You've done it. You've done it. Favor over labor. Abi. <laughs> <laughs> someone, someone has said it is now. Labor has substituted labor. But so, but, but you guys think okay, dream achieved. Move on. Yes, and sorry, um, he still has a contract with his Chinese team. Yes, now. Right. Just a loan move to Manchester. It's still like, that means it's still it's still. Like even if he contracted with yes, oh sorry, it's like a loan. I like just extended his loan. Yeah, he extended. So he finishes, he goes he back, back to Palace in big amount of money. Amount of money. Oh, fantastic. So time to move on. Yeah, 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 of course. I think. I so, think so. Unless maybe Arsenal calls him. <laughs> I, I think he still has one. At this stage right really now, for anybody can play for Arsenal. Can play for Arsenal. Well, I mean, I like. I'm not taking. I mean, <laughs> I love Arsenal. <laughs> He got to see how it takes to cut it out for maybe, um, I, I don't say it's uh, 32. 32. So maybe oh, a, the mid table team. 32. Oh, okay. 32. I mean, it's, it's not that old. It's not that old. Cavani is 33. And my United brought him in. I mean, so Igalo still uh, has all the things. So, but I, I, I think the, the dream has been achieved. You've played for Manchester United. Of you've, you've done the jersey. You've scored some goals, good, goals goals for them. Goals, good goals for them. So, but it's time to just move on. Even in the Premier League, he's not he's not even making the squad. The match the, the match the squad. Uh, so his the playing time is very very limited for Igalo. Yeah, it's in a so, difficult position. So him getting in, being named in the Champions League squad is as a result of your know, more substitution mm-hmm. in the Champions League and more you know more you have more players to name on the bench. Mm-hmm. You know that. Um, next, let's talk about uh, let's let's talk you know football in Nigeria now. Eimba, we saw the governor. Yeah. <laughs> but the team boss and the car for, and the, the, car for the chairman of the club. I, I mean, this is government against still getting involved. When we put it up, did you reach, did you actually reach the comments? <laughs> I haven't gone through most of the comments. Like the the factor, the binding factor was on top which road you want drive. So which road you want to drive? Which road you want? To I was asked myself that is obvious. Ab- like, is it is the road that bad? Like, ah, because when I, I, read, I went through the comments, I was like, ah, where, where they don't want to drive this? Where they want to drive this? Like, uh, come on. That's not even the uh, that's not even the issue, bro. Yeah. So we keep on this even ourselves a lot of time. So we say mm-hmm. we don't want government to interfere. Mm-hmm. But the way we run our football, mm-hmm. they just have to interfere. Mm-hmm. Honestly. Like th- there's no way. Can you give me? A, I've 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 tried a lot of times to figure it out and try to bring out solution. But it does just no. It does just no. Like to run the football club yeah. independent of yeah. the government. Well, I agree. I agree to an extent. I because agree to an extent. How do you make your money back if I'm investing? Because mm-hmm. people oh. would rather I would rather sit at home, watch Manchester United, than go to the stadium, sit down, pay. Say one thousand naira mm-hmm. to watch live match in Nigeria. Like the branding is not there. That and that, brand, and that's, that's, that not, that's not you there. saying you're not you're not patriotic. Mm-hmm. That's not. It's just, just. It's just what there's nothing like. Now you talked about branding. How much are these clubs doing for themselves when you talk about branding? We've seen we've seen some private owned clubs like the likes of Bagada FC, and these clubs. You know when you talk about branding, mm-hmm. these clubs they do a lot when you talk about branding. So and these ones are the new generations now. Like these are probably those that their owners have gone back, made their findings and, and the doors coming out. Let's look at probably clubs that are like ten year old. Like ten year old clubs. Like you don't really see much branding. You don't really, especially government owned clubs. Even if I Uba 
that is privately owned. You don't see that there's this Vandreza, there's Bagada FC, there are just just these new crops of football clubs coming up. That's when you feel their presence. So they should they should like for one, if Vandreza was in Lagos, I would like to watch their match. Mm-hmm. I would like to go to the stadium to watch their match. I'm planning on going to Bagada to watch Bagada FC play actually. So Oh, we, don't, we are not asking for much actually. We just want basic things. Basic things. Basic like your jersey should be something I want to use my money to buy. Yes. I cannot buy nylon. I'm sorry. All right, guys. It's been Football Cruise on Ninja Footballers TV, and you can drop a comment. Tell us what you think about the topics we've discussed so far. We talked about Onachu, Alexi Wobi's new position for Everton. We talk about branding in Nigerian football, the government getting involved. So don't forget, drop a comment. Tell us what you think. I'm Emmanuel Sebastian. Oh, they did not damn me, Lola. I'm Lamid Momo. See you coming away again next time, guys.